Hi, this is Old Rev May. Glad you're joining me today on my channel. I hope you're doing good. I sure am. If you get a chance, would you please hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen? The more people that subscribe, the more people that click like and share, or if you make a comment, it's going to help me reach people for the Lord. They'll push the video out and offer it to people if I can get help. We're going to talk today about you're after someone, not something. You're after someone, not something. Everybody's wanting something in life, all right? But you need to be wanting the right thing. Let's read Romans 15 and 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Do you want joy and peace? All right, joy and peace don't come from buying things, having toys. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a woman if she's got the money and she wants to go out and get a new purse, wants to get a new pair of shoes or a new outfit or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? And there's nothing wrong if a guy wants to go out and get something he wants, all right? Men are different than women. I mean, I've mentioned that before on here before. I may do a video on it, but, you know, uh, most men are like me. If they know they need jeans, they know what size they need, they go into the store. If they can help themselves, they will. If there's somebody there, they'll say, you know, I need 36, 30s, or whatever size you wear, and I want uh, 501s, or I want 550s. It, I'm using Levi's, uh, but you can use whatever you want. And, uh, and you set them on the counter, pay for them, and you're out of there, you know? We don't try stuff on, uh, you know, I... <laughs> I went with my wife to the mall several times. She tried on several things, go to several stores, and bought nothing. Then she gets a Slurpee or a Diet Dr. Pepper, and we're ready to go. Me, that would be depressing. I, when I go to the store, I'm going there to buy something. I know what I want. I go in, I buy it, and I get the heck out of there. That's just the way it is. I'm done, you know. Now it's even easier. You can do it online. I buy a lot of stuff online. I don't even have to go in. They'll bring it to my door. So, but we're after someone, we're not after something. Toys and things will never bring you joy and peace. You only find joy and peace by the Lord, through the Lord Jesus Christ. Now may the God of hope, the God of what? He's the God of hope. We get our hope from him. Fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord uses the Holy Spirit to work on your behalf. If you want true happiness and true joy, it comes from the Lord Jesus Christ, all right? Our perception of what is best for us in life is kind of limited, all right? It's kind of limited. Sometimes our best prayer to God is the one that he don't answer, the one that he don't give you what you want, you know? I remember back in the 70s, preachers were going around preaching this just this before I started preaching, I started preaching, uh, I think around 76 or 77. I have to look it up somewhere. But in the early 70s, they had this thing. I heard a preacher tell, tell guys at church, you want that car? Go down there on Sunday when they're closed and put your hand on that car and pray and claim it. It's going to be your car. God's going to give you that car. And they go down there in the evening when they wasn't open and on the weekend, put their hand on that car and pray. A few months later, I said to him, hey, where's your car? What car? Well, the one, you know, that preacher told you you're going to get it. Go down there and put your hand on it, pray for it, and claim it. Claim it. I called it stab it and grab it. You know, just because you want to claim it, that's not, that doesn't mean that God's going to give it to you. You know, go to that house and park in front of it. I've heard preachers say that. Park in front of it and claim that house and pray and everything else. That don't line up the Word of God. That's all smoke and mirrors while he's receiving the offering and getting money from you. So let me tell you something. True happiness doesn't come by you trying to go around and get things. You're after someone, Jesus Christ, who brings you everything you need. You're not after something. Our perception of that is not really good at times. Uh, you should not be reaching for something, but you need to be reaching for someone. Jesus is the substance, substance of God, all right? He's the substance of God. He has everything that you need in life. 
you'll never get, some people never get the brass ring in life. Or you never get the brass ring. But you're not reaching for something, you're reaching for someone. But you're after the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't have to keep up with the people next door, all right, to be happy. Oh, they went and got a new car. Now I need to get a new car, all right? That used to happen a lot back in the old days when I was in the car business and I was preaching. They, uh, a guy called me. He's his neighbor lives across the street. He gave me your card. He got a new car. Well, uh, well what would one of them run? Could I? I, I want to take a look at one. He got one. We work at the same place. If he's able to afford one, I should be able to afford one. How silly and petty can you be? I don't care if my neighbor gets a Rolls Royce. I don't care if they get a Bentley. I don't care if they get a, a Lamborghini. All right. You're going to see me driving a Ram. You know, I'm going to drive that thing for years and years. But I don't keep up with the Joneses. All right. God said to be content in all things. Paul told us, be content in all things. How can you be content in all things if you're trying to keep up with the neighbors? I don't to keep up with my neighbors. I don't care what they do. It's their business. They're living their life. I live mine. So I live it for the Lord. And if I want a new roof and I need one, I'll put a new roof on the house. I'm not going to put one on just because the neighbor did. I used to live next door to a guy. We put a roof on. Next day, he calls me. Who, who put your roof on? I told him. What did they charge you? I told him. He goes, wow. He goes, well, my house was built about the same time as yours. So we got a roof. Well, a few weeks later, I got the house sighted. Before they even got done, he called me. Who's doing your sighting? I told him. He goes, what did they charge you? I told him. He got his house sighted. And then I put new gutters on, seamless gutters. Uh, years, this was years ago. Put seamless gutters on and... He called me up, same thing. I told my wife, I said, my Lord, what, what is the deal with him? And she goes, I don't know. I wasn't mad at him or anything like that. It's just, it's sort of like you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Anyway, that's the way I take it. We, we don't need to be doing that. All right, the Lord loves you. He wants you to be, be in good health and prosper as your soul prospereth. But the money is not always the answer. God gives you peace. Money can't buy that. God gives you a good reputation. I don't care how rich you are. Some of these ball players are finding out how rich you are. You get in trouble, all right? You get a bad name. You get a bad reputation, all right? Money ain't going to buy you out of that because people look at you and see what you're doing and what you've done wrong. Money does not buy happiness, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I was at a seminar one time and a man was up on this uh, platform uh, preaching or teaching. He was mostly teaching about, uh, he was a prosperity guy, teaching about, you know, you give this to God and God will do that. And if you give to God this money, then when you give it to him, he, it's like an IOU. God owes you, all right? And when you need it, you can cash your IOU in. And all that. That's a bunch of hogwash. I was sitting there. I was like, man, oh man, I have to roll my pants legs up. And this guy next to me, he never missed a beat. I didn't know the guy. All right. I didn't know the guy at all. That guy up there said, money cannot buy happiness. And he said, says the man that never paid for a divorce. And when he said that, about 10 or 15 men sitting around us all started laughing. And when they did, a lot of people in front of us turned around and looked back to see what was going on. And I could see him up there. He was looking down because everybody turned back and looked. But he never missed a beat. And I, I, I almost lost. If I had false teeth, they would have fell out of my mouth. Because when he said, money can't buy happiness, he goes, says the man that never paid for a divorce. And so that's why I was laughing. I'm sorry. Divorce is not funny. But it was just, uh, you had to be there, I guess. It, it happened, all right? Uh, you sure don't want to find out that you're trying to find out happiness at the end of a bottle, that's never going to satisfy you. You're not going to find satisfaction at the end of a needle. It's not going to happen. You're not going to find satisfaction and joy that you need from God by hopping in and out of a bed with a different gal every night. That's not going to work. As they say, that dog ain't going to hunt. All right? It's just not going to work. You've got to get your joy and your happiness from the Lord. You're seeking someone 
not something. And you don't get something through uh, promiscuous sex, through drugs, through alcohol. This will not bring you happiness, all right? But God brings true happiness. Where do you find God? You find him in the Word of God. Open the Word of God up and read it. Find out what it has to say for you and what it has to say about your life's problems and your troubles. Remember, you're after someone, not something. Toys will not make you happy. All right, it's nice to have nice things. It's nice to have what you want. But you don't need everything in the world and need to keep up with everybody in order to have true happiness and peace. That comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, you're after someone. You're not after something. You're not after toys and everything else. I love you. God loves you. Please click subscribe at the bottom right hand button. And I want to tell you, I want to thank you for your time this time. Till next time, old Rev May signing off. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Share this with a friend.